Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This week's video is a vlog. Um, lockdown is officially lifted in Australia. Thank you, Lord. So today we are going to be traveling over to one of my favorite places that we love to go for day trips. Um, it is Manly. It's in Sydney still, but it's across the harbor. So you do have to get the ferry to get there. But it's the cutest little place. Um, I absolutely love it there. It's so beautiful, so pretty. So you can come for a little trip with us and we can go and see Manly together. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, then keep watching. Started the day with a little coffee from our favorite place. Um, for those of you going to Manly from Bondi Beach, you can just get, I feel like this is a relevant piece of information, but it might be helpful, you never know. You can just get the bus, the 333, just go all the way to Circular Key, which is where you get the ferry from, um, which is exactly what we're doing right now. It takes you through the city. I quite like that bus drive. It's quite, um, it's a good way to see all of the city, basically. So this is the fast ferry we've just got on. This is Circular Key. And then the uh, Harbour Bridge. And then we go around the corner and it goes past the Opera House. So I'll show you that then. But yeah, this is the Manly Fast Ferry and this is Circular Key. you come out of once you've got off the ferry there's beaches on your left there's beaches on your right over there and then um, there's like a little cute little town um, so we're gonna find somewhere for breakfast now we've been here before it's a very nice restaurant if you're looking for somewhere for brunch it's called the three beans and, then, yeah. and the beach is just down there so it's not a long walk at all <laughs> Eggs Benedict with ham, eggs Benedict with salmon and halloumi, little coffee and little orange juice. So that's the little um, cafe that we just had breakfast at. Um, and then we're just going to go for a bit of a walk through the town and then find a little beach. Do a bit of sunbathing and potentially some snorkeling. If the sea isn't cold enough. Uh, well, so this is Manly Beach, um, as you can see. It's huge, it goes all the way down there, and then it comes all the way across over there. Look, there's a little dog. Um, so this is a really nice beach. You've never actually sunbathed on this beach before though, because if you walk around the corner, there's another little private beach over there, and also if you go round again, there's a place called Shelley Beach. Uh, is it Shelley Beach or Shelley Cove? I think it might be Shelley Cove actually and that is like, a really really nice like secluded, secluded little spot you can go swimming and snorkeling um, so that's where we're going to walk so this is where we're going now Shelley Beach uh, they're the blue grapes that we've seen before they're so so sick it would be unreal to see another one of them have we seen any of the others? No, it'd be so cool to see a seahorse though. Yeah. Is that a, a little shark. shark. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool if we saw some of that. Yeah, it's all protected. Overview of Manly Beach. So this is the rock pool in Manly. It's currently being under construction. But um, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, look at the view. You can't really beat that, can you? Excuse me. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's where we just were over there at Manly Beach. And we're almost there. Definitely gonna go snorkeling because it's boiling. Okay, so we've got to Shelley Beach now. This is our little setup. We have switched into, um, we have both switched into our bikinis. I just put my bikini on. I also forgot that I have like mascara on, so I had to go to Chemist Warehouse just to get some little wipes to take them off. So I am actually quite scared at how cold the water's gonna be. It is coming into spring or summer. Oh my God, can you even see my face? But the water's still a little bit chill, so we've just 
got to go for it. Tom shouts at me because I take so long to get in, but it's hard. So yeah, let's see if we see any little fish or you can even see sharks out here and turtles, so it will be unreal. So wish us luck. Goodbye. <laughs> it's just a random turkey on the beach. Oh my God, there's a few of them. <laughs> little update for you. We went snorkeling it's so so cold because it's only coming into spring or like it's been like a couple of weeks since it's been spring or maybe a month the water temperature of the sea is still freezing so it honestly like gives you a heart attack when you go in um but literally as soon as we went in there i saw one of the blue gropers so it did make it worth it a blue groper looks like this i put a photo in um and they literally look like their lips are so huge they literally look like they've had their lips done and they're bright bright blue um and they're really yeah they're just huge and they're really really cool so i'm gonna do a bit of sunbathing now to warm up because my head is so cold from the water um and yeah we're we're still on Manly, uh, we're still on jelly beach obviously just got a little mango smoothie from um the boathouse which is like this little cute cafe over there um i think i'm ready to go for a walk now so I'm going to collect Tom and make him come for a walk. So this is another thing where it's describing what you can see. This is the, the big groper that we saw today. We also saw this one, which is a bit boring to be honest. And then these ones, like the gray ones. Yeah. Yet to see one of them, that would be amazing. But the groper is pretty cool, so I'm happy with that. We're gonna go on a little walk now. We're just on the walk back to the sit, uh, the you know, main bit of Manly. And there's a little water dragon just chilling out on a rock, sunbathing. There's loads of them in Manly, and it says they're protected. Oh my god, there's another one down there. Looking at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, but they like protect them, and they say don't feed them or chase them or anything. They're so cute. On with the walk. We've left the beach now, we're just walking to find somewhere to have some food. There's loads of places, but we're the most indecisive people in the world, so it's taken us bloody ages. That loud scream is a white kookaburra. They are so, so loud. No, parrot. No. Parrot, yeah. You said kookaburra. Cook oh no, sorry, not kookaburra. Cockatoo, there. It's flying. It's gone. They're white and they've got little, like, yellow mohawks, and they just. There. Yeah, you can just see that one. There. And they just scream all day. Okay, excuse me if this is cringe, but we've come to the Fish and Lemonade. It's right by the harbour. Tom's got loads of things that are fried, and I've got salad. Because yesterday, it was a horrific day at the Very cute branding, we were just saying. Got a little. Uh, what's, it, what's this called? Greek salad. Greek salad. Some like potato escalop things. That's not mine. And then Tom got a fish burger and then some one dollar fish tacos. yesterday I actually recorded my closing clip and I had a hair mask on and I look like a little egg so I didn't post it um but yeah yesterday um after the beach we just got home um I did a hair mask to try and help save my hair from the sun and the sea um and that was it um I feel like I didn't emphasize how beautiful the ferry journey over over to Manly is like that is literally 
one of the main reasons we go like the town is so cute there's loads of little lanes to like wander and explore they've got a bunch of beaches like it's absolutely stunning but the ferry journey but the ferry journey over is honestly like one of the best things that you can do in Sydney in my opinion it's not even a tourist attraction like it's literally just public transport from Circular Quay over to Manly it's like the best way to see the harbour the opera house the it's very loud the um Sydney bridge it's just unreal and beautiful so if you are coming to Sydney soon post lockdown you know I would highly recommend it um but thank you very much for watching this video um I hope you've enjoyed it um, I know some of you like seeing like what Australia is like on a day-to-day -day basis, so I feel like this is quite a good this is quite a good example of some of the places that you can see and what they're like. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!